Okay, I've had this happen enough times that now I have to make a video about it. If you go to my uh, website, you go down to the bottom, there is a link for calculators. If you follow that link, it'll take you to a bunch of really cool calculators I use all the time in my practice. The Makeup Air calculator is right here. Just in case this ever gets broken, because they do like to change it, this is a Bro New Tone calculator. What you do is go to their website, Bro New Tone, go to Menu, down here, Specifier Tools. The reason that I'm showing you this is because I've had uh, several clients over the years use calc online calculators and put information into them that leads them to a certain conclusion that then they buy equipment um, that's going to solve their problem. And it actually is th that they put in the wrong information because these things are you know, information in, information out. If the information going in is bad, then we just got to make sure that we pay attention to that. And air tightness is so incredibly uh, important that this stuff has a massive impact. And it's like, if anytime you have a makeup air system that somebody's putting in and they're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna put in one eight inch duct, damper duct from outside to do my makeup air. Uh, anytime that number comes up, I'm just like, probably not. Uh, unless you're not watching this channel and you have a normal house, which is like, sure, those people can do that all the day long. Those people don't have makeup air. So if you're thinking about makeup air, you probably need way more than just one eight inch. So let's just use an example like, um, you know, well, let's just say Florida. And by the way, this is gets really weird in Florida because of uh, uh, humidity. So let's just pick, oh, Citrus, that's a nice county. I have no idea where that is. I'm from Florida originally and like, I don't know. All right, so we're gonna use the simplified inputs and I'm gonna show you why you would never wanna use the simplified inputs on this. Um, I don't know how this is programmed to work, but let's just say that the range hood that this person is picking, and, and I just literally got off the phone with a client who had a 900 CFM Thermador range hood. So Brone is gonna say, okay, well, you're using this Brone, it doesn't matter. Um, we're not gonna interlock the makeup air with the central air handler. It's saying design air exhaust rate is 900. Um, I'm not gonna say anything else about it. It's saying, okay, do you have any combustion appliances that we should be worried about? I'm gonna say no. I might, if I was uninformed, say that my kitchen is what I'm really worried about here. And I'd say my kitchen is less than 500 square feet. So I'll just leave it at that because there's not a smaller choice. This is the number for your whole house, by the way. So you pick your entire house, which let's just say is uh, 3000 square feet with nine foot ceilings on average. Okay, and then let's say that we choose, we have four choices here. Super leaky, 10 ACH50, new typical, energy efficient, or zero leakage. Let's pick energy efficient. Um, uh, zero, I don't even know what zero leakage means. It can't be zero ACH50. Let's just do it, just for the sake of argument. This is saying that in this case, we would need either three eight inch damper ducts to outside, or one 10 inch damper duct outside and one eight. And we could add these together. You could find out that eight is about 50 square inches, 10 is about 78 square inches. You take those two and you add them together, you get 120, 128 really. You divide by pi and then you square root that. That's gonna be about a 13 inch round. If you could get a single 13 inch round damper duct, that'll also do the job for you. We're, you're not gonna find that. You'd get a 14 instead. And you can do that at like, you can get online and go to Granger. Brone doesn't sell one, so they're not gonna tell us that we can do that. Um, okay, so so that's what they are telling us is one 10 and one eight or three eights. Let's go back and use the detailed inputs because this is really how life is going to work. So first of all, we've got our 900 CFM exhaust hood. How are we ducting that? If we duct it with the default six inch uh, duct, this calculator knows enough to tell us that we're not going to get 900 out of it. We're not even going to get a half that. We're going to get 440 CFM out of that. So we're going to have to duck this with 10 inch round, which is the correct answer. And then I want to put in how long this duct is so that I can find out, like, let's just say it's going to run between 10 and 25 feet and have up to two 90 degree elbows on it out of that 900. Even with a 10 inch duct on it, I'm only going to get 760 CFM. With my depressurization, I want to keep my depressurization as minimal as possible. If I'm trying to build high performance, you don't want to mess around with pressure effects. So let's try and shoot for two pascals. You can't shoot for zero because that's impossible. With a passive makeup or system like this, two pascals is the most that you can get out of it. Um, and by the way, two pascals is enough to backdraft a wood burning fireplace. So if you have one of those or gas powered, as long as it's connected to the inside, you're going to be backdrafting that even when you're using the makeup air. 
We've got our 3,000 square feet. We've got nine foot ceilings. We're going to put our leakage at 1.5 ACH 50 because that's actually what my builder says that he can achieve, not three, like Bron was saying earlier. And then my makeup air length is going to be, again, 10 to 25 feet with two 90 degree elbows to get it where it needs to go. Now I'm going to click Find MUA Solution, and it's going to tell me that I need 13 8 inch round ducts before. I was aiming at zero ACH 50, and now I'm aiming at 1.5. Before, I had a 900 CFM fan. Now, I actually have only 7, 760 because of the ducting that I attached to it. And so now, this calculator is actually working, and it's actually telling me real life 13 8-inch eight, eight holes to outside that all dampers open up at the same time when I kick on my exhaust head. Or you could do it with eight 10-inch ducts. This is why you generally, in a very airtight home, are not going to use passive makeup air uh, because of who wants to put 13 holes in their house? Like nobody wants to do that. So this is where you go over to active makeup air. I have a video on calculating that uh, as well, but I just like, I see this enough that I just wanted to make sure that people know one eight inch uh, round is not going to do anything for makeup air. If you're watching this channel and you're already thinking about makeup air, then like you're probably way past that. And this is the kind of danger zone. If you put this in, what you'd find is that your dryer wouldn't work. Your, um, you'd have humidity issues in weird places. Your house would start having weird smells because of humidity issues, depending on how long you cook and how often you might have all kinds of other things start to happen. So just be careful out there. I hope that, uh, this has helped you tune in next time. Mm -hmm.